Hi, my name is Victor. I'm with SpiceGnome.com. Today we're going to be making black bean hummus. It's very easy to do and it's delicious. We had this party one time and our friend Prissy brought it and it was so good. Everybody loved it. So today we're going to go ahead and make it. It's very easy to make. It's, if you make it in, in, for any party, they're going to love you, but you're going to love it even more when you have it at home. Uh, there's no cooking or very little cooking involved. We only need to use a food processor. If you don't have a food processor, you can use a blender. The only difference is you're going to have to make smaller batches. So what you can do is divide your ingredients in smaller batches, put them in the blender, and then you can mix them in your bowl at the end. For this recipe, you will need two 15-ounce cans of black beans, two teaspoons of lime juice, a quarter cup packed chopped fresh cilantro, two tablespoons of chopped cilantro, four sliced green onions, two tablespoons of olive oil, four minced large garlic cloves, one teaspoon of ground cumin, one teaspoon of ground coriander, half a teaspoon cayenne pepper, half a cup of tahini, fresh ground pepper, and salt. We're gonna start with two cans of black beans, 15 ounces cans. Uh, what I did is I rinsed them completely, so sometimes black beans have this kind of gooey uh, water that is not really that appealing, so I just rinsed it. If you decide that you want to make beans, you know, cook the, the black beans, the dry beans, uh, you're gonna use between two and three cups of those beans. We're gonna start putting the beans into the food processor. Then we're gonna add chopped green onions. Please use green onions, don't use regular onions. The green onions have much more flavor they're more concentrated, not as watery. Regular onions are gonna become a little bit too soupy. We throw in the green onions. We're gonna add half a cup of chopped cilantro, and we're gonna add two or three leaves of culantro. Culantro is a different, a different herb that is used a lot in the Caribbean uh, food and in Asian food. And even though it's in the same flavor-wise uh, of cilantro, it's a little bit stronger, a little bit more pungent, and it just balances the cilantro. Sometimes people that have problems with cilantro don't have problems with culantro. Uh, you can find it in any Hispanic grocery store, in any Asian grocery store. If you don't have it, then just use the cilantro. That's all of our cilantro and culantro together. We're gonna put minced garlic, probably like teaspoon, teaspoon and a half. I love garlic, so I'm putting a little bit more than that. We're gonna put around two, tea, two tablespoons of lemon juice. I prefer lime juice because it's all about the limes. So I'm just gonna put around two tablespoons of juice. We're gonna put some fresh ground pepper, somewhere around a tablespoon. We're gonna add some cumin. some coriander, and then we're gonna add cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper is hot and it's spicy, and some people have problems with spiciness. You, if you put like a quarter of a teaspoon, it's not gonna be really that spicy, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna help all the other spices and the herbs bring their flavor up and then it's gonna mix with the beans and it's gonna be delicious. If you are okay with spicing it, you can put half a teaspoon, you can put even a little bit more. It's gonna be on your taste. I'm gonna put half a teaspoon because I do like the spiciness. 
the husband doesn't like really a lot of spiciness, but he loves the black bean hummus, so it'll be okay. Now we're gonna add an ingredient that is optional. I prefer to use it because it's delicious. It's called tahini, and what tahini is, is the paste of sesame seeds, and that's what, that's what they use to make regular hummus. What it does to the black bean hummus, it, it gives her a little bit of a smoky kind of nutty flavor. It's delicious. So I'm gonna put a few spoons of it. Actually, I'm just gonna pour some there. Then we're gonna add salt to taste. Um, I don't like really salty things. Well, I love it, but I shouldn't. So I try to go more on that less salty and then I can add later on. This is sea salt, but you can use kosher salt, any type of salt. And then we're gonna add some olive oil. The better, uh, the, the more, flavorful oil that you get, the better it's gonna be with your hummus. We're gonna start with like around two, three tablespoons of it. We might have to add a little bit more if it's a little bit thicker, we'll see. And then we cover, put the lid on our food processor, mm -hmm. turn it on and let the magic happen. I'm gonna open it. Now first to clean some of this stuff from the side so we don't have any chunks of stuff that shouldn't be. And then I'm gonna taste it to see how we are in the salt. Yes. So we're gonna add a little bit more salt. Oh, that tastes so good. And it's just spicy enough that it's making the beans with the garlic just pop, it's delicious. We're gonna close it, run it a little bit more. And I think we're done. So we're gonna taste it again to make sure that it's all delicious. Oh yes, it's perfect. Now what do we do? We put it on our container. We want to take all that goodness out. The hummus would go great with pita chips or a grilled pita um, or any kind of chip or cracker that is not, uh, it's not gonna have a lot of flavor. So, because the star is gonna be your hummus or if you want to be more on the healthy side, you can eat it with carrots, with celery, cucumbers, any kind of vegetable, it's gonna be delicious. We have this delicious roasted garlic and black bean chips. And that's what we're gonna use. Delicious, it's so good. You can taste the black beans, a little bit of the heat from the cayenne and the garlic, the salt and pepper, everything just blends deliciously and it's gonna be the head of your party. We're gonna have another one. Mm, 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 mm. Delicious. Oh, these chips are delicious. You can get them in Costco. Mm, they are, just by themselves, they're delicious. But with the hummus, a match made in heaven. And that's it, that easy. No, not a lot of cooking, not a lot of time, and you'll make a delicious black bean hummus that they're gonna love you anywhere you bring it. 
The recipe is gonna be in spicegnome.com and the link is gonna be right below on top of my belt. If you like the video, please click like and like us. And don't forget to subscribe because we're gonna be making all kinds of new recipes and delicious things that you don't want to miss. So remember, ring the bell. And this show is called Spice and Advice. So if you have a question about food, about cooking, or you need some advice on your life, send me a message. I love to tell people what to do.